unlimited money using Game Guardian. No root, I don't have one. Hello, buddy. Today I'm going to show you how to get Game Guardian working without a rooted Android device. I'm going to give you the whole rundown from a clean install just using Game Guardian virtual space. And for those of you who don't know, Game Guardian does not work on online games. So if you're trying to cheat in an online game, use Hacker Buddy BK. All the links are going to be in the description down below. So without further ado, how do you get Game Guardian working without a root? Of course, first you need to download the app. You need to download a legitimate version of the app. So go to your local Google or search engine, Google Cheatware, or go to the link down in the description below to go to cheatware.net, where you will find the download for Game Guardian, APK, and Virtual Space. You're going to want to download both of those. Again, if you're trying to cheat in an online game, then use HackerBot APK. All the links down in the description below while you're there. Please give the video a like, subscribe for more videos just like this, and let's just get Game Guardian installed. And as you can see, my last download is just finishing. I've already downloaded all the files and I'm just gonna open them up and then I'm just gonna install Virtual Space first. It doesn't really matter in which order you do these things. Just install the apps, Game Guardian and Virtual Space. And now Game Guardian install. This will take a few seconds. When it asks you for a work mode, go for no root, of course. And as you can see, we have successfully installed Virtual Space and Game Guardian, both of them. Of course, if I try to start it, it's not gonna work because it does require a rooted device by default. But of course, we have Virtual Space, which allows us to run Game Guardian without a root. So we open up Virtual Space. Now, the way this works is we need to add apps to virtual space. What virtual space is, it is basically a container that contain, can contain multiple apps. We're just going to clone Game Guardian right into it. And it's a virtual machine and any apps that are part of the, this app are getting around the vault garden of Android being able to have root access to each other, which of course we do need in order to use Game Guardian correctly without a root. Now, according to my comments, Virtual Space doesn't work for everybody. Some alternative apps would be Virtual Exposed or Multiple Go or other virtual environment apps. You might have to try a few of them. Virtual Space is generally the one that works for most people. So once we have both apps installed onto Virtual Space, we simply boot up Game Guardian and it's just gonna open up and as you can see it works it has started up we are only able to connect to virtual space which means we are running in the virtual environment so we're gonna boot up the game from inside of virtual space as well of course then giving game guardian the option to have access to the game data and we are gonna start a new game player name does not really matter Let's go easy, start the game, and we're going to try to get unlimited money here without a root using Game Guardian. Nice. So we just simply, we open up Game Guardian. It's gonna ask us to select a process. We're gonna select our game. In my case, it's this one. In your case, it might be whatever. So you're gonna take note of your money value. For me, it's 300K, but it's probably being saved as 300 in the memory so all you do is you tap the game guardian icon you go for the search icon at the top and you enter your number of the the thingy that you want to change so in my case that's money in your case that might be health or skill points or whatever it works for anything basically you go for auto and you scan you come up with thousands of values of course so what you're gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna pause the game, I'm gonna change the value of my money, and then scan again among those values that have been at 300 for the one that will be at 150. So I just spent some money, the value is now changed to 150, we go back into Game Guardian, new value is 150, we're gonna refine that and we come up with exactly one value. If you still have more than 10, uh, just keep refining until the amount of values does not decrease any further. Once you've done that, tap the value to change it. And I'm just gonna change it to 999999999. 
Uh, let's do one nine less. It's gonna look better. There we go. A hundred million monies, unlimited money, using Game Guardian, no root whatsoever on this device. Just to prove it, I'm going to go into my root check Reno and ver verify my root. I don't have one, so there you go. Also in my settings, you can clearly see that I have not uh, enabled the root function, so that's how it works. And also, if you were unsure, um, the fact that you are only able to connect to these apps, Virtual Space and the game that's running inside of Virtual Space proofs that we're running in a virtual environment and not in root mode. So there we go, that's how you do it. Pretty simple, really, but compatibility can be a problem, again, other alternative apps to virtual space that do the same thing, that are container apps that allow you to install multiple apps inside, would be multiple Go or Virtual Exposed or any virtual environment app. You can just simply Google that if you're interested. So that is how you do it. Again, for online games, this is not gonna work because online games do not store their money values, their health values, on your device, they store it on online servers, which you are unable to modify using tools like this. So for that case, you're going to want to go to hackerbad.net or download hackerbad APK. There's gonna be a link in the description, or you can just simply Google game hacks, go to hackerbad.net, go to hack finder, and you can just simply enter the name of your game. For example, free fire APK mod, and you will find legitimate mods for online games, also bots and other cheating software such as proxies and others. Um, it's very extremely powerful for online games. Do make sure that you're looking for the actual latest version. Make sure that the thing that you're downloading is still up to date and not detected. Very important in online games. And of course, the most popular games on Android at any time will be online games. So unless you want to just play offline games, and uh, by the way, then the way you know that's an online game is if you turn off your Wi-Fi, if you turn off your data, and the game doesn't work anymore correctly, then it's an online game, and you're going to want to use HackerPod EPK instead of Game Guardian and Virtual Space. So that is basically it. Another thing I can recommend is to use an emulator if you're so inclined. I'm using Nox. It is very easy to root if you just want to try some stuff. You can simply enable a root here and it'll have to restart in order to apply. But that's another easy way to run Game Guardian with actually not having to root your Android device. So there's a bunch of ways. But um, I think for most of you guys, Virtual Space is going to be the best option. And emulators are, well, they're, not, they're less convenient because you actually need a computer and a Windows PC to run them. Anyways, guys, that is it. That is how you use Game Guardian without a rooted Android device. That is how to install it. That is how to download it. Again, all the links are going to be down in the description below. Simply download from there. Download HackerPod APK from there as well if you're trying to cheat in online games. Leave a like for the video, subscribe for more videos like this. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.